Well, the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro certainly came with a bang, taking the top spot on DxO Mark. But let's not take DxO Mark's word for it. Let's put the Mi 10 Pro up against the iPhone 11 Pro and also compare it to the Mi 10 and also the Honor V30. The Honor V30 Pro is also right up there, according to DxO Mark anyway, and will be representative of what Huawei can give us. Comparing the Mi 10 Pro to the Mi 10 and even the Mi Note 10, it looks almost identical because of the same color science. Up against the Honor V30 here though, you can see just how different the colors are between the two phones. I'm recording in 4K on the Xiaomi devices and in 4K, you definitely get these really saturated colors, especially the reds and the yellows. Even though I've got three different Xiaomi phones, you can see the results are almost identical. In good lighting, all of these phones can take absolutely amazing images. There are some minor differences in how the pictures are exposed and the colors that is represented here. Also, you can see just how vibrant the Xiaomi phone is compared to the Honor. Also check out for the dynamic range in the shot. That is the very dark and the very light areas. That's where smartphone cameras tend to struggle. Again, with decent lighting, any camera phone these days is gonna give you really good results. Just to illustrate how big of a difference colors make, this is 10 ATP video on the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro and let's switch to 4K. You get a bump in resolution, but those colors become way more vibrant. Stabilization is still a little bit wonky on the selfie camera on the Mi 10 Pro though. It's trying to expose for my face and so the background is a little bit overblown. If you notice when my face turns away from the camera, the exposure changes. When my face turns back into the camera, the phone really brightens it up. We can also see that happening here when I turn away, the exposure changes and when it recognizes my face, it brightens the image. If we compare that to the iPhone turning around, the image stays the same the whole way through. This is obviously something that Xiaomi does intentionally when it sees a face just to brighten up the image. If you do turn away though, everything is exposed really well, so the hardware is definitely capable. It's just that Xiaomi wanna brighten up the image. So you can use maybe a different camera app, Gcam is available as well if you wanna download that. I'm not gonna go into that, but it's something to be aware of. Dynamic range on the phone isn't an issue though. Let's just compare it side by side with the iPhone 11 Pro. Both of these phones are doing a fantastic job at brightening up the foreground here, which was way darker than it appears right now. So yeah, the HDR on this phone is really good. When it comes to zoom in video, filming in 4K gives you way more options. Because of the higher resolution, you can zoom in pretty much as far as you want. This phone goes to six times and it still keeps a lot of detail. There are some nuances to the camera app for video in the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, but I'll get into that in more detail towards the end of the video. But zooming for video in general is pretty impressive, I must say. Zooming through the camera lenses is still a bit of an issue though. You have to pinch on the screen in video. But as I said, I'll explain that more in detail towards the end. But this is where this phone comes into its own from the ultra wide 1X. 2x, 5x, and then you won't believe how crisp 50x zoom is. This is not a fake image, this is right out of the phone. Just to give you an idea how impressive this is, that shot is literally so far away. The road sign looks like an image I found online, but no, this phone took both of these images. So yeah, I am really impressed with the zoom range on this phone. Xiaomi have included those two zoom lenses. They say that the zoom is 10 times lossless, which means that you can zoom up to 10 times and you still get really good detail. And I have to agree with Xiaomi, anything up to 10 times zoom keeps detail and looks good. So yeah, really impressive on that. And definitely that is what the Mi 10 Pro has over the Mi 10. Even comparing this to the iPhone 11, going through the zoom ranges, and 10x zoom is the limit of the iPhone, but the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro just keeps going and going and going. It's really impressive 50 times zoom. Nowhere near the 100x on the Galaxy S20 Ultra, but incredibly impressive nonetheless, and certainly a lot cheaper than that phone. For photo, it's really easy to use the ultra wide 1x, 2x, and 5x through the buttons on the screen. In video, you can also choose these options, but once you start recording, you can't switch between the lenses. You can zoom in and out on that lens. You can either use the ultra wide domain or the 2X portrait lens to record video. But once you press record, you cannot switch between the lenses. That's definitely something to be aware of because more expensive phones let you do that. And this is what 108 megapixel mode is really useful for zooming in and cropping into images so far, but keeping so much detail. Having 108 megapixel mode is certainly a good thing to have. And when it comes to slow-mo on the phone, actually I think slow-mo has taken a bit of a step up over previous versions. 
It's still 960 frames a second, but it looks like the resolution is pretty good. And I'm really pleased with how this macro shot came out. I can't believe this is off a smartphone. It looks so good. I absolutely nailed this shot. I'd put this on the wall at home. <laughs> 8K video recording, however, absolutely no image stabilization, exactly the same as the Mi 10. The only way you can use this is if you put it on a tripod. I was trying to keep this shot as steady as possible, but you can see absolutely no image stabilization means it just looks so rocky. That can't be said of video on the ultra wide angle, however, the video on here looks like you're on a gimbal. It's super steady. That's thanks to the wide focal length. That's the same on most phones. A quick comparison to the iPhone. Check out the dynamic range in the background in that really bright spot and also compared to the Mi 10. Xiaomi said that the Mi 10 Pro has an upgraded ultra wide sensor over the Mi 10. It has more megapixels and a wider aperture on the lens too. You can decide for yourself which one looks a bit better. Notice that the Mi 10 appears to be slightly darker in the image than the Mi 10 Pro. I'm assuming this is because the different aperture in the lenses. Just to prove that point, take a look in the dark areas and the shadows of this image inside the wheel. You'll notice the Mi 10 Pro keeps way more detail in there. And so yes, tech technically it is a better lens. This is night mode and actually it was virtually dark here. Huawei or the Honor V30 in this case doing their tricks yet again in night mode. You can't say any of the phones have taken a bad image here for sure. Definitely a great zoom range on this phone. Anything up to 10x zoom is still super crisp and good looking and I think for the price Xiaomi have packed so much useful functional camera features in this phone. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now but I'll see you in the next one.